Hey Utah! As many of you already know, us Utahns passed three ballot initiatives last November. The first one was legalizing medical marijuana, the second was expanding Medicaid health care coverage to more people, and the third was an anti-gerrymandering measure. Now, almost immediately, our elected officials changed the legal marijuana prop, and this week, we've watched them destroy the Medicaid expansion. There is every reason to believe that the anti-gerrymandering measure, which we approved, is next on the chopping block. I would argue it's actually the most important one that we passed. But what is gerrymandering and why does it matter? I'll break it down for you. Let's pretend this state has a population of 50 people. And based on that population, they get to elect five reps. There are 20 people in the blue party and 30 people in the red party. Now I'm going to draw the lines in three different ways to illustrate how the different lines impact the representation. Scenario one, the lines can be drawn like this. This would give the state two blue reps and three red reps. This is the ideal situation in a representative democracy because the reps reflect the population exactly. Scenario two, the lines can be drawn like this. Now at first glance, this looks fair. But if you look closely, this scenario gives the state five red reps. Because in every district, the red has the majority. So this would cut out 40% of the voting population. Scenario three, if you wanted to get really creative, you could draw the lines like this. In this little scenario, that would give the blue party three reps, and the red party two. This would give the minority party more reps than they should have. So once you see these three scenarios broken down, it seems pretty obvious that the first one is the right one, right? So why are we even talking about this? Well, there's a catch. The party in power gets to draw the lines and they are gonna draw the lines in whatever way keeps them in power. You know the memes sometimes you see floating around the internet that say something like, reps shouldn't be able to pick their voters. This is a reference to gerrymandering. So the party in power can single-handedly disenfranchise the people that would vote them out of office just by drawing favorable lines for themselves. So the anti-gerrymandering law, which is known as Prop 4, proposed that an independent group draw the district lines instead of the party in power in hopes that we would, we would get as close to that first scenario as possible. Now, as you can probably imagine, the people in power do not want an independent group to draw the lines because that would remove the near guarantee of them staying in power. Prop 4 would shift the power from the politicians and give it back to the people, which is exactly where it belongs. This is one of the reasons why it is so important to know what you're voting for. Well, thanks for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, or you can go to my website at bluemomredstate.com. Talk to you soon. Bye.